thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me today for a very exciting announcement. Elizabeth City State University, our leadership remains focused on ACE. A for accountability, C for commitment, and E for excellence. It is my belief that a successful athletic program must have the same ACE mindset, along with the high standards of competence, character, and citizenship. The ECSU Viking Athletic Department is working daily to maintain these high standards while ensuring that our student athletes receive a quality education. With that in mind, I am proud to announce that Mr. James M. DeBose, Jr. will serve as ECSU's Interim Athletic Director starting April 11th. Please welcome him and his family. As interim athletic director, Mr. DeBose will provide oversight of the coaches and staff in academic support, compliance, sports medicine, and strength and conditioning as well as the Viking athletic teams. Mr. DeBose joins the Viking family from Winston-Salem State University, where he served in a variety of roles, most recently as Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development and Administration. Mr. DeBose is a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, as well as the National Association of Athletic Development Directors, where he was named a recipient of the 2022 NAD Diversity in Initiative Program Award. While at Winston-Salem State University, DeBose earned the 2017 Weston Spirit Award for the Department of Athletics, as well as the 2017 Chancellor's Award for Stewardship. He is a graduate of the 2018 Leadership Winston-Salem class and serves on the board of directors for the Winston-Salem Police Foundation. Mr. DeBose graduated from North Carolina A&T State University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture Economics and earned a Master's in Sports Management and a Graduate Certificate in Athletic Administration from Southern New Hampshire University. He is married to Tashana DeBose and they have two sons, but joining us today is Jameson and he is 10 years old. Let's welcome Jameson and Tashana as well. And I would also like to recognize Vice Chancellor Gary Brown, who will serve as oversight of the athletic department. Mr. Brown, th Dr. Brown, thank you so much for your willingness to do so until Mr. DeBose starts on April 11th. Please join me in welcoming Mr. DeBose and his family to the Viking family. to the Viking family. Viking pride. Viking pride. Viking pride. And we want to make sure that our AD oh. looks good. Well, right? let's, let's wear that now then. Yeah, that's right. Good. We're excited to have you here. All right. Well, we'll put this on now. <laughs> Viking pride. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Truly, we're here by God's grace and mercy. It was 61 days ago that my mother shared her last words with me, which those words are very prominent and still remain alive with me on today. Simply, thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Dixon, for the opportunity to lead the best department of athletics in the country. Thank you to Tashana, Jamon, who's away at college, and Jameson for your support, your sacrifice during this transition. Tashana, where I ask that you keep praying and appreciate your understanding and your sacrifice as we make this transition. Jameson, Jamon, thank you for your continued encouragement and all of your positive words and that keep me going. But it was in 2014 that William Bill Hayes paved the way for me to start my career in intercollegiate athletics. I had no idea I would still be here eight years later. But I thank him for believing in me as I started my career. And I also am grateful to be able to have served under the leadership of Tanya Walker and George Knox. I thank them for their contributions to my career. Most recently, I've been able to work under the leadership of Athletic Director A.T.N. Thomas. And I thank you for affording me the opportunity to be a part of your team. And I thank you for the investments in my career. ECSU family, this is a new chapter. This is a new day. And we will be committed to academic and athletic excellence. Our academic standards for our department will rise. We will continue to focus on our student athletes, our staff, and our fan base. We will collaborate with campus partners to grow our athletic department. New sports are coming. Facility renovations are coming. Growth in our department and our university is on the way. It is our goal to provide our student athletes, staff, and fans an elite experience. It will be the goal of our tenure to focus on the entire student, not just the athlete. We will build community partnerships and paint Elizabeth City blue and white. We will work to strengthen our athletic programs and not just be in a position to win CIAA championships, but Elizabeth City State University Athletics will be in a position to be a national contender. National championships are coming to Elizabeth City State University. Viking family, we have work to do. We have work to do. It's not about my title. It's not about me. This is about we. We will make the difference. Our mindset, our focus will be we over me. And today, I share with everyone, our student athletes need your support. All that we will and want to accomplish, we'll only be able to come to fruition if we are able to pack Roebuck Stadium, if we pack the Vaughn Center. We need your support. We need your presence, but we need your financial support. So today, there's a link in the stream. Make a financial contribution today. Support our athletic resource fund. If you can't hit the link in the stream, it's OK. I've got an address for you. For those of you that still write checks, mail your check to the Elizabeth City State University Foundation, P.O. Box 1467, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, 279. Zero 06. In the memo line, make sure you put Athletics Resource Fund. It is our goal to make a difference, and we need you to help us make a difference as we move into the next chapter. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of our student athletes. Viking Pride. Remember, this is a fundraiser right here y'all dealing with now. We are going to raise money for athletics, and we're going to make sure that we are carrying out the vision for excellence without excuse, because we are the Vikings, and we're going to make sure that everybody knows that, as he said before, not just here in Elizabeth City, but across this state, across this nation, the Vikings will be known, and the Vikings will continue to shine. So. Thank you. We look forward to your leadership. We are excited about the great things that are going to come 
to Viking Athletics. Thank you so much for joining us.